Hello and welcome. My name is Sunshine, the project manager, Sunshine Educational Resources, also known as Sunshine Academy. Welcome to our three online lessons in mathematics, chemistry, physics, biology, geography, economics, and many more other subjects. Today in mathematics, we're going to go into solution of simultaneous linear equation in two variables. Solution of simultaneous linear equation in two variables. Now, take for example equations of this form. Let's take this for example 1. Let's take example 1. 2x plus 3y is equal to 8. Now, this is equation 1. And 2x plus y is equal to 4. Now, this is equation 2. Now, in these equations, we're going to solve for x or y. Okay? But the method we're going to use here is called elimination method. Now, using elimination method, if you want to solve for y, we have to eliminate x. And if you want to solve for x, you have to eliminate y. Now, in this instance now, let us eliminate x and solve for y. Okay, now, the first thing you do if you want to eliminate x is to make the coefficient of x equal. In the case of this equation, the coefficient are equal because in equation 1 we have 2x here and equation 2 we have 2x. So the two coefficient, the coefficient of the two of x in the two equations are the same. And so we don't have to bother ourselves again. So what we're going to do, the next thing we're going to do is to subtract equation 2 from equation 1. So let's proceed. Let's subtract equation 2 from equation 1. So we're going to place a minus sign here. This minus sign also apply to all the element in this, in this equation. So it means that 2x minus 2x is equal to 0. 3y minus y is equal to 2y then 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. Now, 2y is equal to 4. So it means that if you divide this side by 2 and divide this side by 2, 2 we cancel 2. So y is equal to 2 here you have 1, 2 here you have 2. So y is equal to 2. All right, our y is equal to 2. Now, let's speak any of the equation. For example, let me pick, let's check. You have equation 1, 2x plus 3y is equal to 8, and equation 2, 2x plus y is equal to 4. Let's pick equation 1. So let's pick equation 1, 2x plus 3y is equal to 8. Now, substitute for y in the equation above. So I'm going to write 2x plus 3 times 2. Instead of writing y, I'm going to write 2 because y is equal to 2. Therefore, it's equal to 8. So 2x plus 3 times 2, you have 6, is equal to 8. So you have 2x is equal to 8. Take this 6 to the other side, becomes minus 6. 2x is equal to 8 minus 6 is equal to 8 minus 6 is equal to 2. 2x therefore is equal to 2. So divide both sides by 2, divide both sides by 2. So 2 we cancel to x is equal to 2 over 2. Therefore x is equal to 1 because 2 here you have 1, 2 here you have 1. So x is equal to 1. So this is our answer. y is equal to 2 and x is equal to 1. So let's move to example number 2 now. All right, example 2. 2x minus y is equal to 8. This is equation 1. And 3x plus y is equal to 2. This is equation 2. All right, just like I said earlier, we're still going to use elimination method to solve this simultaneous equation. So 
you will agree with me that the coefficient of y in this equation in this in these equations that is equation 1 and equation 2 is the same the coefficient of y is the same so all we're going to do now is to add equation 1 to equation 2 because the coefficient of y are the same so we're going to add equation 1 to equation 2 in order to eliminate y and find x so we'll just say plus just put your plus here so let's add up this equation 2x plus 3x you have 5x minus y plus y is equal to plus 0 then 8 plus 2 is equal to 10 so finally our equation is 5x plus 0 is equal to 10 so 5x is equal to 10 x therefore is equal to 10 over 5 therefore x is equal to 5 here 1 5 here 2 x is equal to 2 now we know that x is equal to 2 let's substitute for x in any of these equations so that we can get our y so let's substitute for x maybe in equation 2 let's take equation 2 3x plus y is equal to 2 so x is equal to 2 so it's just write 3 times 2 plus y is equal to 2 therefore 3 times 2 is 6 plus y is equal to 2. So y is equal to 2 minus 6. y therefore is equal to minus 4. So our x is equal to 2, y is equal to minus 4. So let's go to example 3 now. 5x minus 2y is equal to 13. This is equation 1 and 4x plus 3y is equal to 15 and this is equation 2. Alright, here we have the coefficient of x in equation 1 and the coefficient of x in equation 2 to be different. Likewise, the coefficient of y in equation 1 and the coefficient of y in equation 2 are all different so what we're going to do here now is to make if we want to eliminate x let's make the coefficient of um, we want to find x sorry let's make the coefficient of y to be the same and you can do that by multiplying equation 1 by 3 and multiplying equation 2 by 2 you're going to multiply equation 1 by 3 and equation 2 by 2. So let's multiply it out. 5x times 3 will give you 15x. Minus 2y times 3 will give you minus 6y. 13 times 3 is equal to 39. So let's multiply the second equation out. 4x times 2 will give you 8x. 3y times 2 will give you plus 6y and 15 times 2 will give you 30. Alright, now let's add up the two equations. 15 plus 8 will give you 23x. This will cancel is equal to 69. Alright then x is equal to 69 over 23 therefore x is equal to 3 now let's substitute for x in any of the equation let's substitute for x in any of the equation for example equation 2 4x plus 3y is equal to 15 so x is equal to 3 so we we'll write 4 times 3 plus 3y is equal to 15 so 4 times 3 is 12 plus 3y is equal to 15 15 so we now write 3y is equal to 15 minus 12 so 3y is equal to 15 minus 12 is 3 therefore divide both side by 3 divide by 3 3 we cancel 3 
y is equal to 3 here 1 and 3 here 1 so y is equal to 1 all right now let's move to example number 4 example 4 2x plus y is equal to 16 that this is equation 1 and x plus 4y is equal to 1 and this is equation number 2 all right now we're going to find y and eliminate x and to do that we're going to multiply this first equation by 1 and multiply the second equation by 2 all right let's multiply them out now 2 times 1 2x times 1 give you 2x y times 1 will give you plus y and 16 times 1 will give you is equal to 16 now x times 2 will give you 2x 4y times 2 will give you plus 8y and 1 times 2 will give you plus 2 okay now let's subtract equation 2 from equation 1 in this second column here now let's subtract it this way it's going to apply to all the element in the bracket now 2x minus 2x will give you 0 y minus 8y will give you minus 7y and 16 minus 2 will give you minus 14 okay it means that minus 7y is equal to no 16 minus 2 is 14 not minus it's 14 sorry and so um 7y minus 7y is equal to 14 so so divide both sides by 7 divide by 7 divide by 7 7 here 1 7 here 1 so minus y is equal to 7 here 1 7 here you have 2 so minus y is equal to 2 therefore y is equal to minus 2 y therefore is equal to minus 2 now let's substitute for y in any of the equation for example in equation 1 2x plus y is equal to 16 let's substitute for y in this equation so you have 2x plus minus 2 is equal to 16 so you have 2x minus 2 is equal to 16 so 2x let's take this 2 to the other side is equal to 16 plus 2 2x therefore is equal to 18 so divide both sides by 2 divide by 2 2 we cancel 2 so x is equal to 2 here 1 2 here 9 x is equal to 9 so y is minus 2 and x is equal to 9 that's example 4 now let's go to example number 5 now all right let's go to example number 5 now example 5 we have that 3x plus y is equal to 0 and 2y is equal to 5 minus x this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 okay now the first thing you do is that this equation 2 you have to rearrange it to match this pattern of equation 1 so what we do is that um, I'm going to take this x from this side from the right hand side and bring it to the left hand side so it's going to be 2y plus x is equal to 5 um, invariably I can also rearrange this like this as x plus 2y is equal to 5 okay so finally our equation can now be written as 3x plus y is equal to 0 so this is equation 1 and x plus 2y 2y is equal to 5 that's equation 2 so this is equation 2 now so let's solve so let's solve for y by eliminating the x so i'm going to multiply this equation by 1 and multiply this equation by 3 okay 
I'm going to multiply the first equation by 1 and the second equation by 3. So now I have 3x plus y is equal to 0. And here I have 3x plus 2 times 3. 2 times 3, I have 6y is equal to 3 times 5, I have 15. So I'm going to subtract equation 2 here from equation 1. Then these will cancel. So I now have y minus 6 will give me, this will give me minus 5y is equal to minus 15. So minus automatically cancel minus. So divide both sides by 5, divide by 5, 5 here 1, 5 here 1. So y now is equal to 5 here 1, 5 here have 3. y is equal to 3. Now let's substitute for y in any of the equations for us to find x. Let's substitute for y in any of the equations. For example, the first equation 3x plus y is equal to 0 y is 3 so we're going to write 3x plus 3 is equal to 0 okay then 3x is equal to take this one to this side minus 3 so divide both side by x sorry divide both side by 3 divide both side by 3 3 we cancel 3 x therefore is equal to 3 here 1 3 here 1 s is equal to minus 1 so that is it we've come to the end of today's lesson thank you very much for watching if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you very much for watching